And this is the first uh, commercial scale grid connected solar field in Israel and in the entire region of the Middle East. So first of all, that's important. You can see that where we're standing today is very sunny and it's always very sunny. We get 2,247 kilowatt hours per square meter, which is more than double you get in most of Europe. And so this is one of the best places on the planet to have solar power. The Earth is heating up and, we're, and all of humanity is in a race against time and we have to do our part, so we're doing our part. But for Israel, the strategic necessity is much greater for three reasons. The first, we are out of power. We're supposed to have a 25% reserve of electricity like any normal country. We're at zero. There will be blackouts this summer and for the next couple summers during peak hours. And we're, because of this neighborhood, we're in a tough neighborhood, we're not interconnected with our neighbors on the grids. So the first thing, Israel's out of power. Solar energy is the fastest way to get new power on the grid. Second is that we're highly dependent upon Egyptian gas for a lot of our electricity. And the Egyptian gas line has been volatile. There's, there's been sabotage, there's been accidents. And the, with the Arab Spring, they're, they're questioning the entire contract. The third that differentiates Israel and creates the necessity for us to build solar fields, massive solar fields and quickly, is because the missiles that Iran has supplied in Gaza to Hamas and up north to Hezbollah can reach 90% of the conventional power plants in the state of Israel. The problem with solar energy is that it is coming down to us at low density. In other words, we need relatively large surface areas to produce it. For example, in order to produce an amount of energy that is uh, about equivalent to one power station, about one 1,000 megawatt, uh, 1,000 megawatt, a gigawatt, sorry, 1,000 gigawatt, we need about 10,000 square kilometers of, uh, of peak power from the solar cell. I don't think that we can hope in the near future to be at a position that will be so Solar energy will help us to be independent completely from uh, oil from Arab countries or from oil from, from fossil fuel in general. So we have to sort of make do with reducing the amount we use. In other words, if we could use during the day, I don't know, maybe the amount of one or two power stations, that would reduce the amount we use for oil and that would reduce the prices and the dependence 